Okay, so we'll obviously get warmed up in a minute. I just want to talk to you about what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to have three rounds. The first one is going to be 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Second one is going to be 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. And then the final third round is going to be 40 seconds, re 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Now, a big week we've been focusing on is coordination. Last week we were looking at a little bit of speed. So we're going to test you on a few movements today. You might find them a little bit tricky. If you do, just slow them down and really just find the muscle contraction as you're working that movement. What you don't want to be doing is doing an exercise, do it too fast, uh, and then you can't feel the muscle that you should be working because then you're going to injure yourself. So it's always best to slow the movement down and do it in stages so you can feel the muscle and then you know you're doing the exercise properly. So we'll do a little bit of a warm start as always. So just pointing the toes, a little bit of flexion and then going forwards and extension going backwards at the hips, bringing the, the arms as well, nice and relaxed, staying relaxed in our shoulders, nice flexion coming forwards with the shoulder and nice extension going in the back as well. Nice and relaxed, breathing right up, heart rate going, temperature hopefully increasing. Okay, bit of high knees, again staying relaxed, bit of flexion going on at the elbows. Keep going, well done. Whew. A few squats, get those knees moving. When you're doing your squats, just make sure that your knees are staying your hip width apart, not too wide, not too narrow. As you go down, they're staying hip width apart. They're not going in, and not going too far out. Hip width and down. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit warm. Remember to stretch out any injuries or any tightness you have. Be very careful as well if you are a little bit injured. So, I'm sorry if you can't see the board. The light's a little bit funny, so I will write down the exercise in the description box on this particular uh, YouTube channel. So make sure you have a little read first uh, before you get involved so you know what you're doing. Make sure you've got your water, make sure you've got some good music going on. I will play the timer out loud so you can hear it. Hopefully that's useful. But let me explain the exercises really quickly. So we have got knee toe touch. So we get into a plank position here and all we're going to do is grab our hand and go alternate so if I'm reaching for my right knee I'm going to go from my left hand to my right knee and the opposite and you just keep going like me if you want to crouch and do this position because you're finding the full extension too hard then you can so you can go from make sure your hands are beneath your shoulder but you can go from here in the full extension just makes it a bit harder crouch position is a little bit easier. From there, toe touch sit up. We've done this one before. So we're working on our abdominal muscles, our tummy muscles here. So again, we want to try and keep our arms underneath our shoulders. Should really be full extension here, but again, you can do more crouch position. You want to make it easier. And all we're doing is we're going to go from here up to touch our toe. Try not to get too much rotation to the side, but touching the toe, full extension of the arm, as you go back here and towards your toe so full extension of the elbow squat to elbow so again keeping those knees and uh, the legs in line with your fully in line with the hips so we're going to go from we're going to coordinate our arms and our legs together so we're going to go down pull up the knee touch your elbow down and repeat the other side so it's crossing the body, but really trying to coordinate arms and legs there. Okay, then we're going to go into a plank hand raise. So we're really looking at this plank position today. So full extension again if you can. Holding that, all you're going to do is to raise one arm and then the other side again. Try not to rotate too much in your core here. Really try to pull this up. Don't lean in too much. Really try to make sure that back is nice and flat and then the last one we're going to do is box jumps 
If you don't have a box, it doesn't matter. You can simply just go forward and back. And if that's too, maybe that's too easy, try going right foot, right foot, and then back to your left foot. Copying. But if you have got a stairs or a box or something, place it down the floor. Make sure it's nice and stable underneath, it's not going to slip anywhere. Try and keep nice and tall, and not crouching, that would be bad for our hips. That's all we're going to do is use our arms and go back and forward. And if you want to speed it up, you can speed it up. That's up to you. Okay, ready to get started. So, first one, like I said, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Those five exercises there. Are you ready to get started? So, knee toe touch is first. Here we go. Okay, ready. Remember, not too much rotation. Try and keep your hands underneath your shoulders and take your time. Pull that knee in towards your chest. Together, stop there. Next exercise, toe touch sit up. Okay. So here we go, get into that position, that crouch position. Pull in those tiny muscles. Here we go. Pull in your tummy. You probably feel it in the back of your arms. I'm doing your triceps. Really squeezing and pushing up. Okay, rest, squat to elbow. Remember this is about keeping the hips nice and in line, coordinating the arms and legs. Keep going. Five seconds. Okay. Remember you can do this as fast as you want. Make sure you're doing the movement correctly. So as you go down, you start to feel it in the quads. Really squeeze and push up with your glutes as you come up towards the top. Okay, stop there. So plank with hand raise. So keeping, again, the core nice and tucked in, back nice and straight. Squeezing the glutes as well would really help. So from here, again. And you don't want to be Looking too far ahead, that'll straighten the neck, so try and keep it nice and light, maybe just look slightly forwards, slightly ahead of you, you're not looking backwards either, just slightly ahead. I'm looking literally just beyond the mat here. Okay, stop there. Our box jumps. I'm not going to use the boards, the box for this one, I'm just going to go literally front and back. So I might use my mat as a marker. Five seconds. Here we go. Well done, everybody. Okay. Forward back. Some of you might want to do literally a box and go round, forwards, side, up to you. Coordinate arms, legs. As you go up, arms should be going up. Okay, stop there. We're going to have a minute's rest. Minute's rest, this is your chance to drink the water. I'm not feeling too bad right now. That didn't feel easy, but felt like I was just getting into it. So, have some water. Go for a walk if you need to. Just going to reset my timer. Well done. Okay. Got another 30 seconds left. Like I said, we're going to change things up a little bit now. So, we're going to go to our 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So, we're going to push that 10 seconds every single time. Another 10 seconds work. Add it on each time, but still the same rest, 20 seconds rest, okay? We've got 10 seconds before we get started. Get ready. Okay. That's time. 
Are you guys ready? So, first one, remember, is knee toe touch. Try and get full extension on this one. If it was too easy on the last one. Here, plank position, tucking in. Pull. This one as well. Try to keep the hip in line. Try not to push in too much. Don't cheat yourself. Bring the hand to the knee. Keep going. Well done, that's 30 seconds up. Toe touch shit up. This is where we're going into that extension position at the arm, at the elbows. You ready? Okay. And remember, keep breathing. Breathe out on the way up if you can. Keep it nice and relax. Keep going guys, well done. Keep going everybody, keep working hard. Okay, stop there. Squat to elbow. Well done. So, get that coordination right. Some of you have been speaking about that in our school lessons. What does coordination mean? Okay, so, off you go. You're starting to get a bit more confident now. Start to speed up the movement. Get full extension the elbow as well if you go back if you can really drive that knee upwards keep in line remember don't widen your knees too much don't narrow them too much either okay stop there so plank hand raise get into a nice good plank position back straight tuck the belly in Remember, 
I'll do a countdown hopefully so I can tell you when the last 10 seconds are. That's when you really, really need to try and push it if you can. Try and get the heart rate really working. Okay, so. Are you ready? Front position. Here we go. Keep those knees in line. Don't come across your body too much. Keep breathing going. So what's that position? Really bring that knee up. Keep the breathing going. You should really feel it in your tummy muscles, in your arms. That's five seconds left, come on. Okay, well done. Next exercise. The toe touch this up. So working a little on those abdominals, but also working on our triceps here. Okay. Position. Put in those toe muscles. Off you go. And again here, try to as you're doing the movement. Keep everything in line. So as you go forward, my legs are pulling in line with my hip. In line. Try not to rotate too much. Ten seconds left. Keep going. Speed up a little bit. Okay, well done. Next one, squat to elbow, one of my favourites. Again, if you want to make these harder, add in a jump and be able to touch the ceiling. Totally up to you. Five seconds left of a rest. Here we go. Let's speed these up a little bit now, so come on. Drive that knee. Keep the hips in line. Push, extend. Come on. If you're counting, try and beat that score. Keep going. Come on, full extension. Keep that chest up as well. We looked at that in the first week. Should be looking up. It's almost if you're like sitting down in a chair, but you're keeping your keeping your shoulders back. Not leaning too far forward. So we're not leaning like this. We're going down in that position. Okay, so, squat to elbow done. Plank raise and hand. Okay, we've got two exercises left. We can do this. Okay. Plank position. Let's go. Tuck in those tummy muscles. Squeeze those glutes. Not too much rotation of the body. Well done, keep the breathing going. Keep going everybody, well done. Keep pushing. Okay, 10 seconds left. Come on. Whew. Well done. That's a hard one to finish, okay, so box jumps to go. Good again, I'm going to use a little box here. Like I said, you can use a step or you don't have to use this. Maybe we're doing it outside, maybe you could use a pavement, but be very careful. Okay, box jumps, come on. Arms up. Remember, look up. Put it down. Keep going. Well done. Come on. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Come on. Ten seconds to go. Well done. Almost there. Three, two, one. Well done, everybody. 
Okay, so that's the last final set. Finished. So, well done. You did all three rounds. You kept out of me as well. Maybe you made it a little bit harder. Very well done to you. Stay hydrated, remember, it's just a short, sharp session. I didn't require too much of you, so, you know, you shouldn't be feeling too tired, but have plenty of water. Like I said, go for a walk later. Make sure you are stretching. And when you're sitting there at your desk, work or school, wherever you are, make sure you are getting up and stretching because we need to stretch out our joints. It's important to keep moving. But anyway, well done to all of you. I will see you for the next workout. Well done.